Okay, so now that you master this math, and again, if you don't, keep practicing. It's only by practicing it's going to come, maybe not naturally, but you'll be used to it. Let's move on to why we care so much about the antenna again, and also the uh, power of the access point itself. It's because of that concept, the EIRP, which is exactly how much power you send. And that is a measure of multiple things together, right? Because initially you have your access point and there is a certain amount of current that is going to be sent out of this access point system into maybe a cable that is going to get to your antenna. So you have to take into account this amount of energy sent out of that access point. That's one parameter. But then you have to think about the cable because that cable may be absorbing part of the energy just because of the fabric of it. You know, there are some atoms, some carbon atoms in there that may be absorbing part of the electricity that you're sending, and that may be resulting in some loss in power at the other end of the cable. And that is something we will have to measure. And then, of course, you will have the antenna, and we'll talk more about that in the antenna chapter, but that antenna has a gain that is measured and we're going here to use the dBi scale, never the dBd, dBi scale always. So that antenna has what we call a gain that is going to be measured in dBi. So we're going to use all these items together. Keep in mind that the transmit power of the access point is in dBm, right? Not in milliwatt. We convert that in dB already. The loss of the cable is going to be in dB as well. And when you buy a cable, typically give you some value. Say that cable has a, I don't know, 4 dB length per that distance. So you cut your cable, you make the ratio to the distance of where you have that loss, and then you determine how much loss you have in that piece of cable. And then, of course, you have that antenna that has some gain as well. So all this together is going to be the energy you are radiating out of your antenna. And each country regulate how much that has the right to be. The idea being that you can't send a signal that is too powerful, too powerful to injure people, or just to damage equipment, or even to disrupt maybe some neighboring communications. So there is a certain maximum amount of energy of the right to send out of your system, and that is the EIRP, Effective Isotropic Radiated Power. And we have the isotropic word here because we use a dBi scale and also because that compares your energy that you focus in one direction with my example here, which is a direction antenna, to what an isotropic would radiate in all directions. And we say, how much more are you sending in that direction because of that direction antenna? And that's the EIRP. So it's the equation, right, where it's what you send out of the access point minus what you lost in the cable, maybe, plus the gain of the antenna, and that's the EIRP. That's an equation you need to know by heart, because if you become a Wi-Fi professional, your responsibility is engaged when you set up a system that you're not going to use an EIRP that is going to exceed what is the maximum allowed value in your country. And as a professional, you'll be liable of that. Of course, if you use a professional system like a Cisco Access Point and its antennas, there is a way for you to know how much you send, and there is a way for you to be legal in any case. But it's your responsibility as a pro to be able to check that and to know that you're doing the right thing. Notice that you'll see some documents that talk about the ERP without the I. That is simply the same idea, but instead of using the antenna gain expressed in I, isotropic, we express it in D, dipole. So we remove the I of the equation and we said the ERP. So when you talk about ERP or EIRP, make sure you hear people well and that they say ERP or EIRP because there's a 2.14 dBi difference there. And that may be the difference between just at the limit or above. So let's take an example. You have a transmit power of 20 dBm and you go through a cable that loses 3 dB. And your antenna gain is 6 dBi. What would you say is the EIRP? Well, if you do the math, pause the video if you need to, but if you do the math, it's going to be the transmit power, 20 dB, M, minus the loss in the cable, minus 3 dB, plus the gain of your antenna, which is plus 6 dBi. So the result is going to be 23 dBm. The EIRP is measured in dBm. That sounds strange because the loss of the cable and the antenna power is not in dBm, but that's the way uh, the uh, EIRP is measured in dBm. Being able to understand the ERP and calculate it is critical to your professional skills. Make sure you master this.